want to return all praise to God for his faithfulness and his loving kindness over my life, for the salvation of my soul. He has been a loving father. Indeed, this month, precisely November 20th, November 20th, I mean, will mark me 13 years in Port Harcourt. And if there is anything God has done for me in these thirties, indeed, he sent me to this place. He told me when I was preparing to set out of my father's house, Port Harcourt is a place. And when I came here, the Lord has been faithful in many ways. Storm came, he gives me victory again and again. And if there is anything made me to identify with is a quality house like this, a prayer house, which the Lord called Pastor Patti Diage to stand for him in this generation. The prayer house on this altar has defended me again and again. There are places I stay till dark of the day. And whenever I am there, I have no fear because of what? I have divine immunities around me. Whenever I move anywhere, I don't have any fear. He made me to stand as a lion for the generation. If there is anything he has done for me, this period, he told me last week that the storm is over. And finally, not over for me alone, for the children of God that has toyed for many years, the storm is over. And then finally he brought me to the midst of men that are doing well in business, that are business partner finally that if I turn to the right, I turn to the left, because of my commitment and consistencies in his house, his age, everywhere you turn to have brought you to a place of rest. I want to return all praise to God. He had to speak to me in this month of November. I say to his name alone be praised forever in Jesus. Go ahead and celebrate Jesus. Amen. Praise God. Praise the Lord. My name is Kingsley Ayorite. I want to appreciate God for his faithfulness in my life. I was believing God for financial breakthrough to meet up a lot of commitments. So I went out, won souls as early as to six. That's what I want to do. Hallelujah. Winning souls, doing God's business, always seeking the interests of God's kingdom. And God has been favoring me. The money I spent came. Secondly, I want to thank God. Even today, I went out. Food, clothing, money, favor, just coming left and right. And all around, I've been experiencing the blessing of God by my service. God has increased me. God has multiplied me, my course and increased his anointing in my life. And that anointing has been attracting blessing in my life. May his name be glorified in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and celebrate Jesus. Church, praise the Lord. I'm here to return all the glory to Papa God that did it for me. It started June. When I went to my neighbor's house to borrow for 15 naira to went to my business place. When I reached there, she was resting very serious. At the hand, she said, let us go to one uh, prayer at Garizzi. I said, prayer, you are going to solve it. I just followed her that day with faith, left my business place. I came here. Since that day, till this day, I'm not borrowing to put in my business. Because any day I go to my business, I was so depressed to so the extent. Any day I want to go, I will just say, what am I going there to do? Because when I reach, I will borrow to buy something to put in my shade. But I'm here to return all the glory from that day, June, till this day, I'm not borrowing to put in my business. I return all the glory to the Almighty God that did it for me. Praise the Lord. Is this how you celebrate this, God? Praise God. My name is Chama Dorin Eze. I'm here to give my testimony. On the 2nd of November this year, I was kidnapped um, just um, around Mandela Car Wash. So the kidnappers took me in my own car. There were five boys. They surrounded me with their gun and all that. They took me away. We went in my own car, and I was just calling God, please save me. I've been serving you and all that. Father, save me. And I was not afraid. So when we got to the place where they took me to, they said they were going to use me for rituals. And as I got into the car, they started making their call already. We've gotten the person for rituals and all that prepare. We're going to use her for rituals. I told them I cannot be used for rituals. I'm a child of God. And I was saying it in faith, and I was not afraid. I also got to the place of ritual. First of all, they tried putting me to sleep. I couldn't sleep. They did the incantation, tried making me to sleep. I couldn't sleep. I would just sneeze, and I was still in the car. So when we got there, they brought me out, took me for the place of ritual and all that. When they saw me, they said, no, this one cannot be used for rituals. And I said, Hallelujah. So they said this person cannot be used for ritual. They were just like, why? They came back to ask me. 
are you a virgin? I said, no, I'm married. I have three kids. They went back again. They tried and tried and tried. I could hear the demons talk, the voice of the demon. They kept talking and shouting. And finally, they said, no, this one cannot be you. So they disqualified me. And that was how they pushed me back into the car. So when I couldn't be used for rituals, they got very angry with me. They got very furious. They put me back into the car. They said, now that I'm useless to them. They have made them to take risk. They brought me to this place. I cannot even be used for rituals. So what can I do for them? Can I call anyone to transfer five million naira to them now? I said, I can't call anyone to transfer money to you people now. So they said, okay, that means I want to die. That they're going to kill me. I said, I can't call anyone right now to transfer money. I told them my husband does not even do mobile transfer. They said, no, if I cannot give them five million naira, they're going to shoot me. So one in front of me, what are you waiting for? Shoot her. So at that, they shot the first one. The gun did not enter. Okay. The, the second person said, hallelujah. The second person said, open her clothes. Let's see if she has juju or dish. Why is the gun not entering? So they started checking me. They stripped my skirts and all that. They checked me. I didn't have anything in my body. They said, shoot her again. They shot again. It didn't enter. <laughs> then they shot for the third time again. It did not enter. So this. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So after that, they said, what kind of person is this? They said, she's a witch. They said, I'm a witch. That I'm not even useful to them. That would have just allowed them to use me for this ritual so they can conclude. So they were very angry with me. That was at, the, at that point was when they even started hitting me and all that, that I was useless to them. So that's how they drove me. When they stopped at somewhere in Mboba, they pushed me out that night with my hands tied at the back, my eyes tied, and my mouth tied. I come to return all the glory to God that he delivered me. He didn't allow me to die. He didn't allow me to be wasted. I return all the glory back to God. Praise God. Secondly, God also delivered me from a motor accident. The Bible says many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord Almighty delivered him from them all. Father still delivered me from a motor accident after that incident. I return all the glory back to God in Jesus' name. Is this how you celebrate this God? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, uh, our testimonies are so huge. And uh, we can't but keep giving God thanks over and over and over and over. It is important you get committed. You know, in our last meeting, our coordinator said something, I think meeting before the last or the last one, about her traveling to Abuja's meeting and for people to be involved. And um, she, she made it clear she wasn't going to be announcing this. I had, I had a very big challenge. A 40 feet container that was sent from China filled with equipment. When, our, the, when the custom made assessment ordinarily, they said the custom duty should be about 700 and something, close to 800,000. But when we sent the bill of flooding for assessment, the part came up and they said I should pay 4,471,000. How do I raise this money out of 800 to 4 point something million? I looked at that. I said, no, let me leave this in the hands of God. So what I did, out of the money I have in my safe, I didn't take Naira. I took dollars. I called the coordinator. She was already on her way to Abuja. I drove down to the airport. I put that seed, dollars, in her hands. I said, may God reply to you. And that was all. As I speak to you, that duty is completely paid. I can't even explain how the money came. In fact, somebody that was owing 900 and something thousand just credited me. All, all cobble paid. People are still paying. And that is what God can do. Celebrate Jesus. Let's listen to the following online testimonies. Amen. Online testimony from Precious and Kiroga. I joined Mama to pray online and I asked her to pray for me so I'll get a job. She prayed for me. To God be the glory, immediately after the prayers, I got a miraculous job. I return all the glory to God. <laughs> online testimony from Mr. Pius. I was on my truck when I heard DPM prayer on radio. I said, God, if this prayer is from you, Give me a miracle after this prayer. After that, I had a dream where I had a very big miracle, and it also manifested physically. Indeed, there is God in Destiny Prayer Network. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Go ahead and celebrate Jesus. Announcement, please. Shall we rise for the hymn, please? Yeah. The announcement will come. Amen. Doesn't matter how the things around me is, doesn't matter how I feel, I know that Jesus loves me. You're sure, you're sure of it. Raise your hand now and say, Thank you, Lord, for me. I'm so glad that Jesus cares about me. I refuse to believe the lie of the devil that he doesn't care. Lord, I thank you because you care about me. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. I give you praise this morning. Every second, every minute, let it be your moment. Jesus be glorified. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, it is so. From that hymn this morning, I'll read a verse of scripture in Deuteronomy 
23. Deuteronomy 23, verse 5. Nevertheless, the Lord thy God would not hearken unto Balaam, but the Lord thy God turned the curse into a blessing unto thee. Why? Because the Lord thy God loved thee. Because the Lord thy God loved thee. We've sung this morning, I'm so glad that Jesus loves me. I refuse to believe the lie of the devil. And we're going to open our mouths with boldness, with confidence, and say lie and devil. Every curse, every negative pronouncement, every declaration contrary to my peace is turned to a blessing by reason of the strength of God's word. Because here scripture says, nevertheless, the Lord God will not hearken unto the curse. Balaam was hired to cause the people of God. He was cursing them. But because God loves them, he turned the curse into a blessing. And this morning you're saying every curse, invisible, known, or unknown, negative pronouncement, negative declaration over my life is turned to a curse by the power in the name of Jesus. I want you to concentrate, please. At the back, at the front, concentrate. No distraction. Don't distract yourself. Don't distract me. Don't distract others. Concentrate. God is here and is said to do something definite by this particular particular prayer point every evil word negative word spoken over my destiny over my life over my business over my destiny over the work of God in my hand over the ministry any word that is contrary to my peace is, is a lie from the pit of hell is turned this morning into blessing is turned around into blessing by the power in the name of Jesus. Child of God, if you love yourself, pray this prayer. It's a specific word the Lord gave me concerning this meeting. As we sing that hymn, he said, declare the scripture. And they open their mouths and confess and cancel every negative word and declare it becomes a blessing. Thank you, Father. The person who said to you, you will not marry. The person who said to you, you will not amount to anything. The person who said to you, you cannot go beyond bigger than this. It's a lie. Turn it around by the power in the name of Jesus. That curse, that evil word, that negative declaration is turned to a blessing. You said I will not be alive to see my children's children. It's a lie. It's turned to a blessing. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Because Jesus loves me, every curse is turned into a blessing. Because Jesus loves me, I'm so glad he cares. I'm so glad Jesus loves me. I thank you, Father, for loving me. Thank you for your blessings upon my life. Thank you for caring about me. Every curse, every evil pronouncement, negative declaration over your people is turned around for their good. Thank you, precious Father. I give you praise, it is done. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name it is done. I said in Jesus' mighty name, this one is taken care of. Let your amen come alive. Let your amen come alive. Turn to your neighbor and say, in Jesus' mighty name, this one is settled for me. Give the person a smile and then take your seat in God's presence. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everything God has proposed to do today in the lives of his people, not one we fail. That one we are prayed for now has been taken care of. So we, we, we follow him every second. And you follow me as I follow the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. This morning, by the grace of God, I'm reading from the book of Matthew 21, from verse 28. Account in scripture. Here, Jesus was speaking. But what think ye? Matthew 21, verse 28. But what think ye? A certain man had two sons. And he came to the first and said, Son, go, walk today in my vineyard. He answered and said, I will not. But afterward, he repented and went. And he came to the second son and said, Likewise. He answered and said, Oh, correct, sir. I go, sir. I went not. Verse 31. Whether of them twin did the will of his father? Jesus was not asking them. These two sons, which of them did the will of his father? And the people answered and said, they said unto him, the first. Jesus said unto them, 
Jesus is not confirmed here. If you follow the story, okay, let me finish reading it. Verily I say unto you, that the publicans and the harlots, they go into the kingdom of God before you. For John came unto you in the way of righteousness, and ye believe him not. But the publicans and the harlots, they believed him. And ye, when ye had seen it, repented not afterward, that ye might believe him. Very clear story here. But you know how Jesus tells his story in scripture. He asked them, these two sons, a man had two sons. He told one, go and walk in the vineyard. He said, all correct, daddy, I will go. And the Bible said he did not go. Then once he told the second son, go and walk. He said, daddy, I'm not going to go. But afterward, he went. And Jesus now said to them, you know, when Jesus throws a question in scripture, the Bible will say, and he knows what to do. He knows the answer, but he's asking them. Which of them, these two sons did the right thing? They were quick to answer. They said the first one. He didn't tell. In this story, Jesus never concluded to tell us who did right or did good. But listen to what he said. Verily I say unto you. He said, they said unto him the first. But Jesus said unto them. Verily I say unto you that the publicans and the harlot, they go into the kingdom of God before you. Because John came preaching righteousness. You that say you are righteous, you didn't listen to him. You are the Pharisee, the chief, you didn't listen to him. But the publicans and the harlot, they listened to him. This morning, the Lord wanted me to touch on prompt response. Prompt response to God's leading. Prompt response to the word of God. Quick, in a hurry to obey. In a hurry to act. Delayed obedience is equal to disobedience. Delayed obedience always leads to frustration. There's another account in the Songs of Solomon. I wanted to just take the picture in the Songs of Solomon. Turn your Bibles. If you have Bible on your telephone, bring out your telephone now. Yes, Songs of Solomon, chapter 5. Songs of Solomon, chapter 5. I am come into my garden. Just listen to the, what I want to bring out from the story, the account here. I'm coming to my garden, my sister, my spouse. I have gathered my mal with my spice. I have eaten my honeycomb with my honey. I have drunk my wine with my milk. Eat, O oh friends. Drink. Yea, drink abundantly, O oh beloved. I sleep, but my heart waketh. It is the voice of my beloved that knocketh, saying, Open to me, my sister, my love, my dove, my undefiled. For my head is filled with the dove, with dew, and my locks with the drops of the night. I have put off my coat, how shall I put it on? I have washed my feet, how shall I defy them? My beloved put in his hand by the hole of the door, and my bowels were moved for him. Then I now, I rose up to open to my beloved, and my hands dropped with my, and my fingers with sweet smelling my, upon the handles of the lock. I opened to my beloved, but my beloved had withdrawn himself and was gone. My soul failed when he spake. I sought him, but I could not find him. I called him, but he gave no answer. Then the verse 7, where we stop, the watchmen that went about the city found me, they smote me, they wounded me, the keepers of the walls took away my veil from me. I don't want you to look at the love aspect and the romance aspect in this story. What I want you to look at and concentrate on is the story background. Here, one person was on the bed, lie, ha, ha, having uh, gone to bed, and the beloved was at the door knocking. He knocked and knocked on and on. The person inside is saying, I, I finished bathing. How will I now stain my leg? How will I now come down and wear my clothes? Delay. He was delaying. The beloved kept knocking. By the time he was making up her mind, or she, or he, making up the mind to open the door, the beloved had departed. God will not always stay on. Calling you, giving you, trying to catch your attention, giving you instruction, number one, number two, you're not listening on and on again. The spirit of God will not strive continually. Child of God, the Lord want me to pass this message across. Delayed obedience is equal to disobedience. It will lead to frustration. 
it will lead to embarrassment. But when you obey the Lord promptly, even when you don't know so much, the Lord will back you up. I say the Lord will back you up. This morning, the quietness of your heart, I've shared what the Lord wanted me to share. Maybe it's for just one person. I've done as he led me. You will bow your head down and look in words. What has God been telling you to do? Step out from that place. Close that shop. Move out from that city. Relocate. Step out from that relationship. Step into this other thing. Go this way. Swallow that pride. Humble yourself. Sow that seed. Say, see, don't near, don't near there. And you have remained on one spot. Child of God, God can never give you an instruction that will reduce you. I'm a living testimony. This morning, as I prepared or, or early hours of the morning, they all, they all re recall to my mind how I was trying to gather a particular amount to pay a fee. And all of a sudden, from nowhere, child of God, the Lord said to me, package it, go and sow it as prophet offering. My heart left, left my body. But after I wiped out my heart, get back into the body because God doesn't tell you, give you an instruction, instruction that will destroy you. Long story short, I obeyed that instruction. The fee I wanted to pay, I paid it. Every other thing I wanted to do, I did it. So, which means obeying God, whether financially, in your home, in business, in ministry, in career, obey him promptly. Child of God does not ever put your life in reverse gear. He moves you forward. Delay obedience leads to frustration. You will not maximize in the blessing. I pray this few minutes I've used to share God's word, stirring you up. Stay away from delay obedience. Stay away. Don't read marrow. Don't cause the whole world because God gave you an instruction. You'll cause the whole globe before you obey. It's equal to disobedience. Jesus is not telling them, the son who said I will go, I did not go. And the one who said I will go, I will not go and went. He didn't tell them who is right. Two of them were wrong. That's why he now said to them, John the Baptist came, he was preaching righteousness. You that call yourself Pharisee, you are the one that knows all the law. You didn't listen, but the publican and the harlots, they listened and they went into the kingdom. They listened. So that's why unbelievers, by the grace of God on the first, will be at my one, will go and preach God's word, will call prayer. Yes, yes, thank God for that excitement. We will go there. You will see people smoking. Yesterday I went for evangelism. I, I knew I was giving flyer to court boys. I would smile at them. I said, come and join me. They say, where? I, they, they look at me first of all. Invariably, you don't know who I am. I say, no. We are using body language to talk. I know, but I'm giving them flyer. You will say, this one is a bad man. This one is a child of God. Heaven, there will be surprises. People you are condemning, they will be the first to enter the kingdom. That's why the Bible is saying here, the publican and the harlot. He, he, he said harlot. They heard John the Baptist and they accepted the kingdom. But you that say you know everything. Are you obeying me when I tell you to do something? Are you prompt? I was sharing, sharing flyer at the junction here. Gary's in junction. Some people, I give them flyer. They say, Madam, I beg. Let me pass. A man said to me, Madam, please bring that flyer. He said to me, I'm a tax force. I'm not a, invariably, I'm not a good person. I'm a tax force. But you have been blessing lives. I follow your program on radio. I'm going to come for that meeting. I'm going to come. He now began to tell me things. As he was talking, compassion word up. Within, I, he was holding my hand, shaking me. I say, Father, every judgment upon his life, let mercy swallow it. You know how we used to call task force? You know what they do? People are not happy. They call them your, your, your father, your great generation. But I said, what just came out from my spirit? I said, Father, in the place of judgment, let mercy swallow that judgment. I release him from every cause. I pray for him from the depth of my heart. So that's what Jesus is saying here. You that say, you know, when I tell you, give you instruction, do you obey? These are sinners, harlots, publicans. They are prompt to obey. The Lord strengthen you this morning. And give you grace to obey the Lord promptly. This is my one thing. I was just sitting and the thing just came up. Boom! I began to call all these men you are seeing. I called all of them immediately. Sure, one of them said to me, Mommy, thank you, ma. I said to them on Thursday we're going. He said, Ma, please. Uh, I said, Thursday or first? He said, Mommy, if we go on first, it will work. Oh. It will work. But, mo Mommy, can we go on first? It will have more result. Very humble and respectful way to speak to your mentor. He said, Mommy, if, we, if you want us to go on Thursday, we are prepared. I'm prepared, ma. But, ma, if we go on first, we'll have more result. We'll have enough time to prepare. So that instruction, the Lord just dropped it. I didn't know the details. I just jumped at it. So because I jumped at it, I'm prompt to obey. God is giving me how we go. He's raising me. So many people are here today because they want to know the modalities for that first of December outreach. Child of God, what are God telling you to do? And you have lingered. Maybe one small seed God told you to sow. You're keeping it. You're tying your destiny down. Obedience. Give her that cloth. 
give food to that person, help that neighbor, close that business. You say, no lie, I will die on it. My children, children will come and meet me here. Follow the Lord. Follow his leading. Be humble enough to obey his leading. It will move you to the next dimension. Bow down your head and ask the Lord to help you. Ask the Holy Spirit is there with you. Is by your side. This message concerns you not the same way it concerns your neighbor. We all have God's dealing in different ways. God is telling you that ministry where you are, they are struggling to buy petrol. Meanwhile, you have the money. You are doing as if you don't know petrol has gone up diesel. They are using diesel. Child of God, obey the Lord. If you obey him, you never go down. And a living testimony. Obeying the Lord never puts you in reverse gear. It moves you forward. Obey the Lord. If you have not obeyed one, why will he give you bigger one? Obey, be prompt. Delayed obedience is equal to disobedience. Don't come here and be praying and shouting and fasting. When what God told you to do, you have not obeyed it. That is why you are still staying there. Everything is not the devil. Look around you. Ask the Lord to have mercy. Ask him to have mercy upon you. We thank you, Holy Spirit. Your word comes to encourage, to rebuke, to admonish, to edify. Reach out to us who are willing to learn, speak to us, help us to obey. Holy Spirit of God, help your people. Thank you, precious Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Before we go into our prayers, let's be upstanding now. You are here under the sound of my voice. You're not born again. You don't have any relationship with Jesus. Maybe you casually walked into this meeting or someone invited you. I want you to pray in the quietness of your heart. Ask the Lord to come into your lives. Repeat after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I come unto you just as I am a sinner. Have mercy upon me. Oftentimes you've given me instructions. I didn't obey. But this morning, I ask that you ha have mercy upon me. Forgive me all my sins. Come into my heart. Be my Lord and Savior. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Everyone who prayed this prayer, Father, this morning I pray for them. Let your hand of peace rest upon them. Write their names in the book of life. Thank you, precious Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. If you pray that prayer, accept the cleansing in the blood. A new dawn begins for you. Hallelujah. Lift up your hands and say, Lord, I thank you. Declare that by the blood of Jesus, you're standing this morning. The mercy of God will speak for you. By your mercy, I stand and by the wonder walking power in the blood, I prevail. Cover yourself with the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus over this environment. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Every second, every minute, let it be your moment. Let Jesus be glorified. We thank you, God. We give you praise. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Ask the Holy Spirit to help you. It's the best helper. It's the best intercessor. Ask him in the quietness of your heart. Holy Spirit, help me to pray this morning. You will feel tired. You're not in the mood. Holy Spirit, help me to pray this morning. I thank you in the name of Jesus. I promise to give you back all the glory at the end of the prayer session. Yes, you believe the prayer you've prayed. Say thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Tell him thank you. Lift up your voice. Declare, I take authority over this day in the name of Jesus. Declare it as a, like a prophet of God. I take authority over this day in the mighty name of Jesus. I take authority over this day in the name of Jesus Christ. I take authority over this day. Concentrate. Concentrate and pray. Let your heart be in the prayer. Engage your heart. Yes, I came here because Jesus sent me. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. I give you praise. I take authority over this day in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I take authority over this day in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, it is done. I confess that this is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and I'll be glad. What you declare is what God will confirm. Today, no stealing my joy. This is the day God has made. I'm going to rejoice. I will be glad in the morning, this morning, afternoon, evening. I declare with my mouth. I confess that this is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice. I'll be glad. This is the day of the Lord. In Jesus' name, a day where I will make wrong unpardonable mistakes, a day where I will not come and use my hand and destroy what God has built for me. This is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice. I'll be glad in it. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Lift up your voice and say, Blood of Jesus, scatter every covenant of fear. In the name of Jesus, every covenant of fear. Yes, I break it by the blood of Jesus. 
I shall not fear. I do not fear. I reject fear. Fear of the night. Fear of the unknown. Fear from the dream. Fear from the voices in my ears. Blood of Jesus. Pray that prayer, child of God. Destroy every covenant of fear. Fear. Yes, fear is the devil's policeman. Fear is the devil's policeman. You will not arrest me. I refuse to be arrested. I break every covenant. I command the covenant of fear to scatter. Let the blood of Jesus scatter every covenant of fear by the power in the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Blood of Jesus, separate me from the iniquity of other men. I won't pay for what I didn't buy. Yes, what it means that you won't pay for what you didn't buy. Somebody's iniquity, you won't come and be paying and suffering for what you don't know about. Let the blood of Jesus arise. Separate me from the iniquity of other men. Blood of Jesus, separate me from the iniquity of other men. In the name of Jesus, let the blood of Jesus separate me. Separate me from the iniquity of other men. In the name of Jesus, blood of Jesus, separate me from the iniquity of other men. In the name of Jesus, blood of Jesus Christ, separate me from the iniquity of other men. By the power, in the name of Jesus, blood of Jesus Christ, separate me from the iniquity of other men. Thank you, merciful Father. We give you praise. It is done. Thank you, God. In Jesus wonder walking name we pray yes i like that one i speak unto you sun moon and star you will not smite me and my family this day you'll point your finger to the sun moon and stand say by the authority of god was all i speak unto you will not smite me you won't smite my spouse you won't smite our sons our daughters you won't smite me lift up your voice and pray it i speak unto you sun moon and stars you will not smite me and my family this day in the name of jesus i forbid you you will not smite me thank you lord you will not smite me you sun moon and star hear the word of the lord you will not smite me and my family this day, in the name of Jesus, you sun, moon, and star, I speak to you by the word of the Lord. You will not smite me, nor my family this day. You won't smite God's people. Thank you, Father. The heavens over the meeting open. I ask for multiplied angelic activities here. Let the oil flow. Let the fire pour. Let the healing begin. Have your way, Jesus. Be glorified. Everything. Everything you had in mind, you have in mind to accomplish today. Have your way. Use my voice. Use me every part of the way. Let Jesus be glorified. Thank you, sweet Holy Spirit of God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. I put down every negative energy. Planning to operate against my life. In the name of Jesus. Put down every negative energy. Planning to operate against you today, pull them down. Every negative energy planning to operate against my voice, against the call of God, the mandate in my hand, lion, devil, I pull you down from the waters, I pull you down from the mountains, I pull you down. From the heavenlies, I pull you down. I pull down every negative energy planning to operate against me this morning, this day. You are pulled down by fire. You are pulled down now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Any power that wants me to die before my glory appear, die by fire. You, you know, you hear some pathetic story and you feel so bad. After this person has labored, the glory has just arrived or is about to arrive. He's nowhere to be found. They spend time building a business and the thing is beginning to blossom. The man disappears. You lift up your voice with anger in your heart and say, Any power that wants me to die before my glory appears, die by fire. In the name of Jesus, close your eyes, pray that prayer with anger. I will labor and I will eat the fruit of my labor. Any power that wants me to die before my glory appears, you are a liar. Die by fire. Die by fire. Die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. Shaka Tile Maro Seta. 
name it is done yes. lift up your voice and say I refuse to carry any ancestral burden ancestral load I refuse to carry it I will not carry it I do not carry it in the name of Jesus is what you declare God will confirm I refuse the evil show of my father will not fit my feet Evil show of my mother will not even size me. I refuse to carry any ancestral burden like devil in the name of Jesus. I refuse it. In the name of Jesus, I refuse it. By fire, I refuse it. I refuse to carry any ancestral burden. Thank you, Lord. We give you praise. It is done. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. I said in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Everywhere I go, let darkness be disgraced. Everywhere I go, because I believe in God's word. I'm the light of the word. I'm the salt. So I declare by the strength of God's word, everywhere I go, beginning from today, let darkness be disgraced. In the name of Jesus, let darkness be disgraced. Darkness of poverty, darkness of infirmity, darkness of oppression. La shakata. Everywhere I go, let darkness disappear. Let darkness be disgraced. Child of God, proclaim it. Declare it. Proclaim it. Declare it. Proclaim it. Declare it. And it shall be confirmed by the law. There will be a performance. So shall it be. There will be a performance. La shakata la bara le siete. Linde grabo se kashata la ba. Linde rako se atapara le seta. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I give you praise in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name forever. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Every satanic utterance bombarding my destiny backfire satanic word pronunciation, declaration we have declared at the beginning from God's word that every curse has been turned into a blessing yes, with that word now at the back of your mind, any satanic or trans bombarding your destiny say, but the thing is suffocating my destiny the, the curse is so loud it's swallowing the voice of my destiny now this morning, you open your I command it to backfire in the name of Jesus. Every satanic utterance bombarding my destiny backfire now. Backfire now in the name of Jesus. Backfire now. Elasia katata labash and sakapata lele de misiolo tashata lende rabo si katasha pralioro seta. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We give you praise. We render null and void such declarations. We render null and void such incantation. We render. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. When I say incantation, when I satanic prayer, render them null and void. Declare it to stand. It will come to pass. Any negative word, incantation satanic prayers over your life and family it won't come to pass thank you lord in jesus mighty name we pray the same prayer we prayed i render null and void incantations satanic prayer over my marriage over my womb 
all those satanic prayers, they won't come to pass. I stand here where Jesus told me to stand and declare that those satanic prayers, incantations, they will not come to pass. Some people don't have plenty of faith like you. They just come for a meeting like this and they believe in the I believe in the Lord your God, you'll be established and they believe in the prophet of God standing here and she says satanic prayers against you, incantations against you will not come to pass. They stretch their heart and say amen and they receive a performance. It's all about your heart. How set is it? How connected it is? I decree once again that every I, I stand here, I render none and void every, every incantation every satanic prayer we don't care where the prayer was offered, I decree that that they won't come to pass. Every satanic prayer against your marriage will not see daybreak. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I thank you. Because of this prayer this morning, there will be excellent result. And you, God, will advertise your power. Of Jesus. I'm this relaxed and confident because like never before I've seen God confirming the oil, confirming his word. There was his testimony, a testimony that they, uh, they, my, uh, my people read it out for me. A man who, a man who was, um, I think a truck driver or trailer driver. I don't know if they read that testimony this morning. We don't know him. And the Spirit of God said to me, you may never see that man until we get to the feet of Jesus. He was in his vehicle, in that big trailer, and he heard us on radio. And he said to himself, he said to, God is everywhere. He's with you where you are. Right in that big trailer, he said, God, if you are the one, this prayer, this woman is praying is of God. Give me a sign. And he said he dreamt God gave him massive sign and breakthroughs. And then to top it, eyes in on the sugar, those things he saw manifested, those blessings. And I said to myself, what are you still waiting for? Are you doubting what you carry? That same anointing that showed up in that trailer is present here. <laughs> And I've declared over you that I don't care whether negative prayers were made, incantations, the ones you know, the ones you don't even know. I decree and I declare every sacrifice made to put you in bondage is nullified now in the name of Jesus. Say thank you, Holy Spirit. Say from the depth of your heart. Right, I was making that declaration. Sacrifice made to keep you in bondage. Indebtedness, you cannot explain where it's coming from. Every time you borrow to pay this one and the debt is multiplied. Whatever sacrifice, whoever you did it to, and the person that to come again, I ask for the mercy of God on your behalf. Yes, let him be perfected by the power in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. I give you praise. Thank you, God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, it is done. God has begun something definite. It will speak so loud. You lift up your voice and say, you this day, you will not destroy my prosperity. In the name of Jesus. Today will not be that day where you will make an unpardonable mistake before your destiny help us. They say, you that I'm trying to help, get out. What am I getting from you? Devil will just make you to be proud. Arrogance will just make you to lose out. I shared, um, I shared, um, 
online and also shared it in Abuja. The Bible says the glory of the sun is one. The glory of the moon is another. Then the glory of the stars is another one. And the Bible says, for every star differ in their glory. No two stars are the same. But where I'm going to is that the moon does not have light of its own. It just positions itself. Some of you now, there are people with great destinies around you. All you need is wisdom and humility to position yourself from their own light. You will collect light. So this prayer is, Lord, today, I will make unpardonable mistake. Oh. People you have positioned, I won't go now and begin to say, ah, because God never blessed me. Now. I'm sure you're going to, I, I'm sure, me, self, I get ego. Humble yourself. Humble yourself. Pride will take you nowhere. I've never done, I've begged people. It didn't reduce me. I've done my hands and asked for apology, for, for forgiveness. It didn't remove anything from me. Pride will make you not to realize what God has positioned around you. There are people around you from their sun you can draw. The moon, sometimes you come out in the night, the moon is so bright. If you're a witness, if it's true, raise your hand. He has no sun of his own. He just positions himself. We're collecting enough from the sun and then comes out at night and then is posing. May the Lord grant you wisdom. So the prayer point was saying, Father, this day, I will not make mistake that will destroy my destiny. No mistake. Lord, empower me. Wisdom, I need grace to know how to do, what not to do. I will not make mistake. Today, you will not destroy my destiny. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray for yourself. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, sweet Holy Spirit. This day will not destroy my destiny. I will swallow my pride and humble myself. I will not out of hot anger destroy what you are building. I will not out of self destroy what you are building for me. This day you will not destroy my destiny. Thank you precious father. I give you praise it is done. We give you all the glory you do all things well. Thank you Holy Spirit of God. In the name of Jesus. With faith in your heart I want you to program blessing into the moon the sun, the star for your life today, the rest of the days, the rest of the remaining part of the remaining parts of this month, remaining part of the year, program blessing, program favor, divine wisdom, divine ordering. You will know what to do in the name of Jesus. Thank you, sweet Holy Spirit of God. I program favor, unusual favor, uncommon favor, unsolicited favor, high favor. In the name of Jesus, I program it into the sun. I program these into the sun, the moon, and the star for your people. In the name of Jesus, thank you, sweet Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, God. You do all things well. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. When I pray any prayer point on favor, child of God, don't look around. Pray it for yourself. It works. I prayed myself from darkness to light. I prayed and God gave me favor. If everything you have in your life, you labored for it, you're not enjoying favor. Yes, everything I used to have before, I labored and worked and worked, but now I'm enjoying favor. So when I call favor prayer, child of God, pray. I was traveling to Abuja last time um, for the second week now, second week. I right at the airport, somebody, you sure the things you make happen in the lives of people, God will make it happen in your life. The way I used to package and go and give to my prophet and my mentor and my father in the Lord, someone else ran towards me and gave me dollar. Child of at the airport, child of God, favor is real. It's not the one you manipulate or the one God Himself tells people to favor you. Unsolicited help. So I'm going to give you an opportunity to call for that prayer now. Program favor into the sun, the moon, and the stars for your son, for your daughter, for your spouse. Unusual favor, especially if you are here. You have some favor. You have favored people. You have helped people to make their ministry speak. Ask Lord, God will raise men to make your own speak. God will raise favor. Ask God for favor. It's not a sin, especially if you have favored others. Let the Lord favor you. Let the Lord favor you. Let the Lord favor you. La shakante na mo sapa. Eski atasha. A higher dimension of favor. Higher than the type. I've experienced of the Lord before. Let me experience that type. Higher dimension. Higher realm of favor. Higher dimension. Higher realm of favor. 
Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, it is done. Every wicked altar in the heavenlies that want to walk against me, I pull you down. Every evil altar in the waters that will want to walk against this favor I've prayed for, I destroy you by fire. Every wicked altar in the heavenlies, I pull you down. By the power in the name of Jesus, open your mouth, pray for yourself. Anything, any evil altar, wherever it may be, in the heavenlies, in the waters, speaking against my voice, I pull you down. By fire, I pull you down. By thunder, I pull you down. In the name of Jesus, I pull you down now. Every evil altar in the heavenly set, warring against my destiny, against the mandate in my hand. Be put out, be put out, be put out by fire. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, it is done. The fire of the enemy shall not burn me. The fire of the enemy shall not burn you. Amen. By the power in the name of Jesus, I part Diage. I declare with my mouth. Because God will confirm what I declare. So I decree and I declare that the fire of the enemy shall not burn me. Shall not burn my spouse. Shall not burn my son. Shall not burn my daughter. By the power in the name of Jesus, the fire of the enemy shall not burn this man, shall not burn this woman, this boy, this girl here present or following online. The fire of the enemy shall not burn you in the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. I give a praise. Thank you, Father. I give a praise. It is done. In Jesus' wonder working name, it is done. Pick up your bulletin now. Stretch your hand towards this direction. We're going to be praying number 11 prayer points. But before then, let the oil flow to you. Receive fresh oil from the Lord. Use that oil and anoint yourself. And lift up your voice and declare number 11 prayer points on your bulletin. Let me hear you declare it. One, two, we go. When that oil begins to speak, those who have forgotten you for good, they will remember you for good. Put your heart in the prayer and pray it as if you have not prayed any prayer points. Pray if you love yourself. Oil a favor from heaven. Baptize your children. Let the oil flow to them. Let the oil flow to them. Let the oil flow to them. Holy Spirit, go ahead, sponsor the oil. Let it speak, let it show, let it speak, let it show, let it speak, let it show. Last year, let it speak, and then let it show. Oil left, oil left favor. Oil of favor. Oil of favor. Oil of favor. Oil of favor. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God. In Jesus. Mighty name we pray. Yes. Some time ago, the Lord showed me this revelation where I saw my mentor, Pastor David B. Omir, sitting down and I knelt and he was praying for me. And you see that kind of prayer, somebody's praying for you, you know it's from the depth of the heart. And he laid hands on me as I knelt and he was sitting down. He said, God will bypass protocol to bless you. As you're praying this prayer point and the Lord is reminding me that revelation, I should use that word and make a, decla a declaration over you. By reason of this fresh oil of favor you have re received from the Lord, God will bypass the normal, usual protocol to bless you. For those who understand what I've just done, go home and sit on it. When you come for a meeting like this, be alert. Things happen. 
I went for minister summit just as God's servant, our father of faith, the bishop, he was about to start impartation for the ministers. I brought out my small anointing oil. And the Holy Spirit said to me, do you remember what I showed you some years, some time ago? I had a revelation where I saw Bishop Oyedepo using pipe. No pipe, they're using washing car, pipe water. Big pipe. He was watering his sons of the prophet, the big, his big sons. Pastor Biomia, Pastor Neche, all these big pastors, his sons. And I was passing by that side. As I was passing, I said, ah, you never reach, just pass one corner. He turned and told them, call her. He said, join them. And he began to water me. So as he said, raise up the oil. They were to pray, make impartation. The Lord said to me, that thing I showed you is playing out now. Amen. So God shows you things and you come for a meeting like this. Pay attention. People came for different reasons. Some come for meeting just for coming sake. Some of you, maybe one casual word I said is why Jesus brought you here. Or maybe your own was in the early part of the meeting and you came late. Don't come late for meetings. Once it is that time, they, they declare the meeting, the angels are dispatched. I came here with the fullness of all that God sent me with. That's why I, just, I refuse any distraction. Let me stand here and deliver and the Holy Spirit will sponsor it. I declared over you that by the reason of the oil of favor, you have prayed on yourself. And God who said on this platform, on this mandate, excellent result, we speak. Because of the oil of favor, God will bypass protocol to favor you. In the name of Jesus. There, is, there are usually set protocols in different places, organizations, businesses, even in ministry, in life. But God is expert in bypassing it. I'm a living testimony. As I'm standing here with ease, God I've seen him bypassing protocol. I've seen him bringing her from least expected angle. I don't know how to explain it without contradicting myself, but child of God, just believe me and key into it and say, Father, you brought me here today. Maybe today is your first time of coming. That's why Jesus brought you here. Key into it and say, Father, if you gave her oil, two to wheat, let it speak in my life. Bypass protocol. Change the rule. Hallelujah. Change the rule for my sake. Change the rule in my favor. Let ease come into my life. I am tired of struggling. I am tired of struggling. Let there be ease. Let there be favor. Let it come with ease. Thank you, precious Father. I give you praise because it is done. I thank you because it is done. Thank you and thank you again. Join me now and begin to give God praise for great things he has wrought in your life already by this prayer program this morning. I'm still trying my best. I will keep to the time. Give the Lord praise. I didn't cover half of the prayer points. I came out with it. But the time is far gone. We thank you. We bless you. We give you praise. We give you all the glory. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Blessed be your name forever. The Lord is laying in my heart to pray for that person that walked in here. You had a gunshot in the dream. 